idea of a potential half-point hike at the next Fed meeting picks up steam, investors have been caught a little flat-footed by the flattening yield curve, and that's spreading to the municipal bond market as well. My next guest says, quote, modern monetary uncertainty is fueling volatility there. Joining me now is Michael Zizas. He's U.S. public policy strategist at Morgan Stanley. Michael, it's good to have you, and, and walk me through the Thanks recent moves uh, that you've been experiencing there. Yeah, well, listen, I think the, the, the journey the muni market's been on this year was it, it started the year quite rich, probably underappreciating the challenges that the Fed had in front of it to deal with inflation, the really complicated path it was going to have to follow. In fact, the, the fact that the Fed was really going to have to own the option to change its mind quite a bit. If the Fed owns its option to change its mind, that means bond market volatility because the bond market is short that option. And when you have elevated volatility in bond markets, it interrupts the demand channels for the muni market. You see mutual fund outflows, and the muni market's corrected quite a bit as a consequence. Now, none of that tells you that credit quality um, is poor, but it does tell you that we've got some technical challenges in the market. So I think the conundrum for the investor now is that you are probably being fairly compensated for credit risk, which is pretty stable. But um, as the Fed continues down this path, uh, risks are probably skewed to risk premium staying higher and maybe even elevating a bit. Why is it that the curve, more so than just the outright levels of yields, are a headwind for munis? Well, I think for us, the curve is a representation of the Fed's challenge, as opposed to the Fed, the, the, the inverted curve, an inversion of the curve itself being a challenge. So we went back and studied prior inversion periods, the last five uh, to be specific. You didn't really see a difference in muni risk premia yields relative to treasuries before or after. But the, the, the inversion itself speaks to what the Fed is trying to do, which is to challenge an inflation dynamic, which is uncertain in its cause, and it's trying to stay out ahead of inflation taking hold in the mentality of the U.S. economy. And curve inversion makes sense in that environment, but that uncertainty in and of itself drives yield volatility in the Treasury market, as we've seen. That volatility is what interrupts the demand channel. It tends to make individual investors be duration shy, and you, that's why you see mutual fund outflows. And we've been showing our kind of new favorite or our other favorite yield curve, the 10-year versus three-month, which is obviously sending a much more bullish signal. In fact, we're seeing a pretty wide spread. So if that curve is right and everything's going to be fine or at least a lot less scary than what the others are showing, or if you're an investor in this for the long run, maybe you like the opportunities this presents, where would you be in munis? I see airports, higher ed. What's your advice yeah. to investors? Yeah, certainly the sectors that we think give you a little extra premium, uh, and you're being fairly compensated for risk, airports and higher education, for example. And again, I think the, the thing to keep in mind here is that, yes, while this conundrum creates volatility in the short term, you're being fairly compensated today if you're putting money to work. Uh, so those are the two sectors that we like. And frankly, because the curve is inverting, we don't think that investors should be shying away from longer maturities either. If you're constructing a portfolio, I think you want to balance out those longer maturities with some shorter maturities. But uh, the typical muni investor sometimes is duration shy. Uh, we think that's the wrong impulse right now. Can you explain that just a, l a little bit further? For yeah, well, so if you know, a typical muni investor, they're looking for munis to be kind of um, sleep at night money. Um, owning too much duration can feel quite risky. But if the purpose of owning that muni bond in your portfolio is to dampen overall volatility, you want some duration that improves your risk-adjusted returns. And if you think the yield curve is going to invert because, in our view, twos are going to out-yield tens in the Treasury curve, that means longer maturities are not just giving you more carry. They're going to give you less price volatility. Very interesting. Michael, thanks for del delving into all of this and also giving people some places to look for opportunity. We appreciate it. Thanks very much. Michael Zizis joining us from Morgan Stanley. All right, up next, shares of Robinhood are higher today as they announce two new products in an effort to attract users. This was once a $47 billion mar uh, market cap, as you can see all the way to your right there. It's less than a $12 billion company today. We're going to look at their shift from trading disruptor to retirement account brokerage and whether that will pay off. The exchange is back in a moment. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future. 
for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 